tournament of all the possible matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. But I'll admit, I've got my fingers crossed it will work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. Come on, Big E wasting his time playing it up for the crowd. Oh, no, no, nice. DDT. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Oh. And that one misses the mark. Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, man. Biggie responds. Jay showing his instincts. That's a bad landing. Going up top. Cues from Jey Uso here. It's a marathon, not a sprint. He's still in a very good position. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Clothesline! Biggie never ceases to impress when he steps into the ring. Truly an impressive combination of power and agility. Corey, how do you prepare for a hybrid athlete like Big E? Well, other than saying your prayers and hoping he doesn't toss you into the cheap seats, I'd say the best way to prepare for Big E is to enact a plan where he can't use his considerable power. If you're in the ring with Big E, you need to cut him off at the pass. Keep the big man from getting on a roll. Yeah. Yeah. Big E gets drawn in. Suplex! Jay taking his offense to the top rope. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? What grace float over into the DDT! Fight. And returning to the ring. Up and around and took the world slam. Oh god, that hurt. He knows how to avoid contact. Now he hurt DDT. Heading up, he's thinking back. Taking flight. Now he doesn't connect. Cover here. Fights the shoulder up in one. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Yes, he didn't come here watching Post and Taunt. And that was a hell of a DDT there. Big E couldn't power his way through that attack. Well, we're deep into this tournament match. This is where things get serious. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. worth it now. Here is your winner, Big E! And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxton, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies.